Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can use SPI Lamp, a great little gadget with our controllers, namely uh, LED Ethernet Controller 3 and SPI Matrix. Please notice that you can only use SPI LAMP with our devices since we are using a custom protocol to send the data from the controller to the device. Uh, this looks like a um, SPI matrix or a LEDs 3, although it is a bit special because it has RJ45 for outputs. How cool is that? This is great in pair, in pair with uh, SPI lamps. Uh, again, it has four outputs and uh, each can handle 1024 pixels. I already have a power supply already here, uh, which is five volt, same as the strips. And I have already prepared some cabling here. So from the power supply, it goes into first SPI lamp and from there it goes into second. So yes, you can daisy chain like this, uh, the SPI lamps. First thing that you can do is obviously put in the power. I will try to show this in detail. Now I will be using this block over here, ground and plus. You'll take your favorite screwdriver and screw it tight. This way you get power. Then you can connect a cable for your strip. Maybe it will zoom or focus. Maybe here. You get the idea. Uh, again, you have to follow the pinout. So plus data minus like this and again screw in tight. Once you have your cabling ready, for the strip and for the power obviously, you can take a alternate cable and connect it to your next SPI lamp. As you can see, the ports have a marks, default in and default out. And yes, you can swap the two. But in default, this is in and this is out. So you can take the signal cable, the Ethernet, plug it in. And I want to have the controller on the network. So I will plug it in to my network. And now... Once I will turn it on, I hope it won't blow in my face. Let's try this. Something is happening. However, there is one important setting that you have to make. And for that, we will go into the web config tool and our Let's Root Studio software. So this is the software. I have already uh, created one effect. And I am uh, right now using the Artnet portion of the software. So I am sending uh, Artnet data actually uh, from the software to the device. And I have set that the starting DMX universe is one, same goes for the DMX address, and the number of pixels is uh, actually three. <coughs> and this is the color order. Uh, starting universe is important in the web config, where you can set what universe goes into what output. But I have everything set up correctly. Output one, it's using first universe. The next thing that you have to set up is the strip type. Since, as I have told you, the SPI lamp is using our custom protocol, 
you have to use LSS RGB strip or RGBW. And yes, SPI lamp can work with RGBW pixels or strips. But I do know that this is actually an RGB strip. So I will click on RGB, save outputs, and voila, everything is working. There is one other setting that I did not show you, but I can demonstrate it right now. There is a, I'll again try to show you this in detail. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. So there is a dip switch here. And the dip switch serves one purpose only, to set the number of diodes that you have connected or the number of pixels that you have connected to SPI lamp. How it works? just as dip switches normally works uh, with your, just like they work with your uh, DMX fixtures or uh, DMX lights. You will simply put in the number that you want and that will represent the number of diodes. Right now, pins three and four are up. That means uh, that uh, we are telling the SPI lamp that there are 12 pixels. Someone is connecting, someone is connecting to my device in the in here that's very nice of them okay uh so where was i yes pins three and four that represents number 12. if i will put uh, it down you can see that the animation is right now playing only on nine diodes that is the minimum that you can connect to the device of course you can connect uh, two pixels but it will behave always like uh, nine pixels so once I will change this, I will put up four or all 12 pixels are, are playing the animation from the software. And um, this is basically it, how you can set up your SPI lamp with uh, our controllers. If you have any questions in regards to this, let us know in the comments, write us an email and have a great day. Bye.